Hey y'all, and welcome to an incredibly dynamic and exciting episode of Rediscover Mid Valley. I'm arts and entertainment reporter Kelly Williams Brown, and we are here to rediscover one of my absolutely favorite things in the world. It makes me want to die. I'm so happy. Rodeo Queens. Um, we're here at the 2009 Oregon State Fair. Going on behind me right now is the 2010 Miss NPRA Rodeo Queen pageant. Um, there's seven contestants that are actually going to be in the pageant today, but there's about 70 Rodeo Queens from all over Oregon here. They're here for their grand ride in tonight at the NPRA Rodeo Finals. Um, so we're gonna we're just gonna find out what it's like to be a rodeo queen. We're gonna talk about hot roller ring. We're gonna talk about tiaras. We're gonna talk about uh, horsemanship. Lots of things to talk about. And it's important to note for like the five of you that aren't my mom watching this um, that I don't normally dress this way, but I'm very excited to be dressed this way today. I am dressed in the style of a cowgirl, courtesy of my awesome coworker Darla. Uh, I've got like a giant belt buckle. Got a dope leather vest. I've got some uh, Minnesota silversmith jewelry and of course a big old cowboy hat. So today is basically the greatest day of my life. So join us, we're rediscovering Rodeo Queens. It's gonna be a heck of an adventure. Hey, welcome back. We are here with Mackenzie, who holds the enviable title of the 2009 Miss NRPA Rodeo Queen. Uh, Mackenzie, let's talk about the competition that's coming up. What do these ladies need to do if they want to fill your shoes? Well, actually, there's many things that they have to do. They have to take a, a knowledge test on rodeo. They have to model. They want to see how well the girls can speak. They want to see how well they can ride their horse, what they're going to do in rodeo-type situations, how they're going to react. They also get a personal interview with the judges as well as a horsemanship interview to see if they're up to date on their horse knowledge. For somebody who's going to be pushing cows around, you look absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. Will you tell us about this outfit? Well, actually, I bought this dress from uh, Miss Marla Meadows, who was Miss Rodeo Oregon in 2003. She had this dress designed when she went to Miss Rodeo America for the President's Luncheon. It was star-themed in some sort, so at the bottom it has stars, crystals in the shape of a star, as well as stars embellished all over the blue dress. Can you give us a quick swirl? <laughs> Fabulous. Now, um, one more thing, hot rollering. Yes. Let's talk about it. Well. Some people use hot rollers, some people use sponge rollers. I have found that when I use sponge rollers, I end up with an afro. So to get the big mop, mm -hmm. I guess you could call it, into these beautiful curls, I use hot rollers. I pull it back into a ponytail, roll the ponytail the night before, and spray the heck out of it with hairspray. Do you sleep on your, with your rollers? Yes, I roll, them, uh, I roll them far enough back that I can sleep on my side. Okay, um, so I guess it would be tough to give us a demonstration of the proper rollering position for sleeping, but... Like, like, like an angel. <laughs> exactly. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. Thank you. As I said, you look stunning. I'll let you get back to the luncheon. All right, everyone. Um, this is Nicole. Nicole, would you introduce yourself? Tell us where you're from and uh, what okay. you're going to do today. Well, my name is Nicole Schrock, and I'm competing here as a contestant for the 2010 title of Miss NPRA. And I hail from the beautiful Willamette Valley, mid Willamette Valley, in Corvallis, Oregon. Fantastic. And, um, I guess my, my first question would be, what is something about being a rodeo queen that people wouldn't expect? Um, they don't expect to see a lot of the behind the scenes things that go on. It's not all just running through the arena and looking good on your horse. It's a lot of backstage stuff. I mean, you see a lot of queens that'll be out behind the scenes washing their horse with their hair and curlers and by the time they're done they're just as dirty as their horse was before it was clean and and not only that but during the rodeo when you're not running flags you're usually just sitting out there waiting and so it's a lot of hurry up and wait yes. so you're either in there going really fast or you're outside sitting with not much to do mm -hmm. um, but as long as you're promoting the sport of rodeo and being a positive role model that's the most important thing. Do you think somebody could be a rodeo queen if they had straight hair? Some of the rodeo queens nowadays prefer the straight hair a lot of them do. Um, I like the curly hair because when you're seen from a distance you want to have something that makes you stand out a little bit more and these hats can make you look like you have like a little tiny head so one of the things I like about the curly hair is it kind of makes you stand out a little bit more. Because it would be tough to be a rodeo queen if you had a tiny head. Of course. Yeah, it would be yeah, really impossible. Be horrible yeah. and to find a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Think of all the troubles you would have. Um, now let's talk about your hat for a second. Okay. Um, I actually am dressed up for the occasion. I Very good. dress like this every day, but I don't. You um, look beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Now my hat is straw, your hat is felt? Right. Why is that? Uh, because it lasts a little bit longer and it holds its shape better, so I don't have to go and, it's supposed to be a certain shape and they can be kind of particular about it, so this holds the shape a lot better. Um, your dress. Yes. It's a long, gorgeous leather dress. Thank you. But it's kind of warm out here. 
Is that dress breathing okay? You know, it doesn't breathe, but I'm not I'm not too hot yet. I put lining in it, so it's not too terribly hot. Fabulous. Awesome. Well, best of luck to you, Nicole. Thank you very much. I hope it goes wonderfully for you. I don't see how it couldn't. <laughs> Thank you. All right, take care. So I'm Catherine Wynette Rickert. I am from right here in Salem, as we just said. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Well, you look fabulous. I know Thank I keep you. saying that, but it's not a lie. They all really do look fabulous. How did you decide to go with this swirly? Actually, I did design my dress myself, and I just, I knew I wanted white and teal, and I put pen to paper, and this is what I came up with. Well, I hear that this is your first pageant. This is my first pageant. Did you wake up one morning and say, I'm going to be like a rodeo queen? Like, how did that happen? I love rodeo, so I thought it'd be great to promote it and get other people to love rodeo. We're back, and as you can see, Kaylee looks like the awesome bad girl <laughs> of the 2010 Miss NPRA Rodeo yes. Queen pageant. Um, tell us about yourself, and then tell us about your outfit. Well, I'm Kaylee Cooper. I am 23, and I'm from St. Helens, Oregon, and I've been doing this Rodeo Queen thing since I was 16 years old. So I've been doing it for quite some time, and it was my dream when I was a little girl, so I'm living my dream. Now, can you, before we were on camera, I was asking you about what you've done in the past. Can you give us a list of your titles? Well, I've done so many pageants, but the titles that I've held were 2003 Columbia County Princess, and then 2004 Columbia County Queen, then I was 2005 Miss Malala Buckaroo, and then in 2006 I was Salem Rodeo Queen. Rodeo Queen tiara is not your typical tiara. Will you tell us about those? Well, they're actually, they're not typical tiaras. They're not made of rhinestones. They're usually made by silversmiths, and they're solid, and they'll say the title. Sometimes there'll be a couple of rhinestones, but they're really, they have a lot of gold and silver detail on them, but they're always solid. Mm -hmm. So you can really read the title and what rodeo the girl's representing. And another absolutely amazing thing about being a rodeo queen, can you show us off your belt buckle? Yes. This is my Salem buckle, and you get one for every title you have, and they're all different. Uh, different silversmiths will make them. This is a Montana silversmith buckle, and they make them for you. They've got your year and your name on them. Could you die from happiness when you got oh, your yes. first belt buckle? Oh, yes. I wore it everywhere. <laughs> I wore it with pants that didn't even have belt loops. <laughs> When you think of pageants, you think of the person being crowned, and then the screaming, and then the crying. Did you do that the first time? No. Are rodeo queens allowed to do that? Uh, rodeo queens, like, I guess anybody's allowed to do that, but rodeo queens don't normally do that. They just kind of step forward, and usually the girl will put the crown on her head. Her title won't start till the next year, but it's the crowning you've won. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of hugging. There is a lot of hugging, but no screaming and crying, at least that I've seen. That's because cowgirls are tough. That is true. Cowgirls are very tough. We don't cry. No, and I ever since I put on this cowgirl outfit this morning, I've been feeling a lot stronger than I did when I was just wearing my normal office clothes. Well, it's it's getting in you. You need to be a cowgirl. Oh, I wish. You I can wish do I it. Wish. Okay, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to ask Kaylee if we can take a quick break, and then maybe, Kaylee, we can reenact what it was like when you were crowned, except we'll put the tiara on me. Do you okay. Can do that? Yeah, let's okay, do it. we got to go yeah. find a tiara. We'll be back. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're here at the Miss Rodeo Universe pageant. It's been a really long, stressful pageant, and I think we have our winner. And the 2010 Miss Rodeo Universe is Kelly Williams Brown. <laughs> it's Miss Rodeo Universe. Oh my god, I am speechless right now. There's nothing I can say except that, aside from the fact that this is a fake title and my crown is made out of paper towel, <laughs> this is the best honor I've ever been given in my life. And that is true. And Kaylee, I have to tell you, if it were up to me, you're the Miss Rodeo Universe of my heart. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'll, I'll always treasure that. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I wish you absolutely the best of luck. You were such a good sport and so brilliant to come up with my paper towel crown. <laughs> Um, I think that's going to about do it for us here uh, for Rediscover Mid-Valley. Um, this has been amazing. Kaylee, good luck to you. Well, thank you. Join us next week. We're not going to have as much fun as we did this week, but nothing lasts forever but the <laughs> earth and sky. Until next time, I'm Kelly Williams-Brown here for the Statesman Journal. <laughs>